what makes you think that this object is for writing? Or this for containing? Look, it's made of material that doesn't seem to let the water through. It has a space inside that invites to put things in it and a lid that seems to seal the space. One way to put it is to say that it has a certain containability about it. Here you go, you have just defined an affordance. The theory of affordances was first put forward by the perceptual psychologist James Gibson in 1979. He recognized himself that the word affordance did not exist in the dictionary, so he made it up from the verb to afford, because no existing term referred to the environment and creatures in it in a complementary way. So by Gibson, affordance simply means what environment offers to the living beings, what it provides or furnishes, either for good or for ill. Now Gibson was a psychologist, and as such he was mostly concerned with how animals perceive their environments as a part of his ecological approach. Since then, the concept of affordance has produced much study and application, but also debate in numerous disciplines. For instance, in design, Donald Norman added an idea that materiality offers affordances for something, but also constraints against something. Like, for instance, this container seems to afford storing small and soft objects, but constrains storing large and urgent things. In management studies, Anne Laura Fayard and John Wicks relied on the concept of affordances to explain how and why informal interaction persists in organizations, stressing the role of photocopiers and water coolers in affording it. Jeffrey Trim and Paul Leonardi applied the idea of affordances to the use of social media in organizations, exploring what makes social media so good for organizing. Spoiler, visibility and association. Affordances were now defined as possible actions to contrast functions that may or may not be picked up by users. This way, affordances really emphasize use rather than design and give priority to users, not developers, in defining what technology is for. An example? Well, this container was obviously designed for storing, but I can easily turn it into a back scratcher. It will be really lousy at it, but who cares if that is how I can use it when I need a good scratch. So to sum up, affordances are possibilities for action offered by environment, objects, artifacts, technologies. They were created to complement the functional view with an emphasis on users' actions and help identify potential failures or negative effects which the other methods have difficulty identifying. And though this approach will never provide the creator with all potential user actions, it helps change one's viewpoint to a more reflective one and devise organizational designs and technologies that are safer and easier to use. Thank you.